Uh, at the end of last year, at the tail end of last year, after the midterm elections, a lot of people said, OK, well, look, you know, a primary might be healthy for the Republican Party. A lot of animosity against the idea of, you know, unquote, quote, unquote, a coronation, uh, which I understand for some reason has negative connotations in this country. <laughs> but uh, yes, that's I think correct. we've seen enough. I think we've seen enough. I think we've seen who the backers are against Trump here, the donor class, um, the GOP establishment class. I think we've seen what the candidates who are supposed to be able to run away with this the second they got into this race uh, have actually done with that airtime and that power. And the answer is uh, not an awful lot. And I think what a lot of people now are saying is, look, we understand that there's $200 million set aside to try and tear down Donald Trump before he even gets to the general election. Minimum. I think it's going to be more Democrats. than that. Yeah, keep going. But I think it's going to oh, be yeah. more than that. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's more than that. Um, but, but I think most people kind of realize now mm -hmm. that, hey, you got Mike Pence jumping in. you got Tim Scott jumping in. you got Chris Christie cannonballing in. And I think people are just like... <sighs> Yeah, we're done with this. So let's bear that out in the data, right? Rasmussen Reports did an interesting study in February, and I pay very close attention to these things so that when I saw that they had a new one coming out this month, I immediately understood, okay, let's compare and contrast the two different polls. Same methodology, same question, same candidates. It's Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. And in February, um, Ron DeSantis had um, 32% polling amongst likely Republican voters in this poll. Today, he stands at 30%, which means that after the injection of cash, getting up on the stage, touring around Iowa, um, Twitter spaces glitched out or not, and so on and so forth, all of the fanfare, he's actually sunk in the polls. Contrast that with Donald Trump, who actually uh, three months ago in the same poll was po polling at 45% is now up to 58%. That is a massive leap in a very short period of time. I think people are ready to declare this.